Hello folks. Something I wanted to share with you that I think you might find interesting. I was having some real problems trying to get this Amazon Blink camera running from lithium ion AA cells. These are AA cells that have got lithium ion batteries inside of them and then little uh, DC buck converters in the top of them. In one of my videos you'll see that I've taken some of these apart and we've had a good look inside them uh, to figure out how they work and what's going on. Anyway, it hadn't occurred to me, but because this uses radio frequency and sits there uh, continually talking with Wi-Fi, there was one particular set of batteries, these EBLs, embarrassing brown lumps here, these things didn't actually work with it. The camera would turn on uh, and everything would look fine, but it wouldn't actually communicate with the Wi-Fi network and it was a real head scratcher. So what I wanted to do today was just show you three different sets of batteries that are all lithium ion AA batteries and I wanted to show you quite how noisy they are. So if you're thinking of using them in some kind of Wi-Fi application, you'll understand why they're not working. Straight off the bat then, here we have Kratax batteries um, purchased from Amazon. And as you can see on the screen here, there's quite a lot of noise on the oscilloscope. So let me just disconnect. Boom. That's the batteries disconnected. Reconnect the batteries. Bang. There we go. So what have we got? So the frequency is around sort of 30 kilohertz. We've got 20 millivolts per division or nearly 80 millivolts worth of noise. Absolutely fantastic. 80 millivolts worth of noise at about 30 kilohertz. That is just bonkers. Just to show you again. So I'm just disconnecting those batteries by putting my finger in the battery, in the battery tray. And when I release my finger, boom, there we go we get that full on nasty noise coming out of the Kratax batteries. Right, let's have a look at some of these other batteries and see how noisy they are. So I've now installed the EBL batteries, the embarrassing brain lump batteries, which claim to have 3,300 milliamps worth of capacity. And again, we can see quite a lot of noise coming out of these. It's not actually as much noise as the Kratax batteries. Uh, but what is really interesting is the frequency on these is much, much higher. So we can see we're in the realms of almost 1.7. I know it's quite an unstable waveform, but what you have to realize is there are two um, pulse width modulators running, one in each battery, so you get a little bit of mess there. Um, but yeah, 5 millivolts, uh, so we're looking at, uh, yeah, almost 10 millivolts worth of, of transmission noise at about 1.5 megahertz. Absolutely bonkers. And again, I'll just disconnect those. I'll just prove that to you. So put my finger in there, and that noise drops down to virtually nothing. But there we go. We have got a consistent radio frequency coming out of uh, those embarrassing brown lump lithium ion AA cell batteries. Really quite interesting. Okay, so X-Star have sent me some batteries and also a charger. Let's have a look and see how they perform. <laughs> so we've got the X-Star batteries in place now. And again, we can see there's um, quite a lot of noise coming out of these. Uh, let's just put the trigger level somewhere a little bit more sensible on the scope. So these are running at about uh, 500 kilohertz and generating around 30 millivolts of peak to peak noise there. So yeah, really quite interesting. Um, clearly these DC buck converters are all working on slightly different frequencies. And as I said, these Kratax worked well with my Amazon Blink camera. However, um, the EBLs didn't because they were such a high frequency. 
So these X-Star batteries have been running the camera fine, no problems at all. These embarrassing brown lump batteries are just too high frequency and interfere with the Wi-Fi on the camera. And the Kratax actually work quite well as well. So anyway, very interesting to see how these batteries could cause you a proper head scratchy moment if you're using something that's transmitting on higher frequencies so they clearly can interfere with the radio signal of the wi-fi uh, the setup here by the way this is just a little 50 ohm dummy load it's just a, a whole bunch of resistors all in parallel just to sort of spread the wattage spread the power across the resistors so effectively about 50 ohms the scope is a Hantec DSO 5202P uh, which is a fantastic little scope here we've played with the X styles which seem to be running at about um, 500 kilohertz we've played with the Kratax uh, which seem to be a much lower frequency, um, which is more conducive to not causing problems with radio frequency. And then the EBLs here running up at around a megahertz or so, that is definitely a problem with Wi-Fi devices. So there we go, folks. I just thought I'd show you that. It's a point of interest and also a point of contention for me. It was a proper head scratcher. As always, thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give us a good old thumbs up. And we'll catch you guys again in the not too distant future. Cheers and beers, people. Have a wonderful week and weekend. Lovely sunny weather.